All right, friends, welcome to the 3-4, Constructing Parallel and Perpendicular Lines notes completion. All right, so constructions in this section, very important. If you don't, if you're an LSI student, um, follow the steps because the questions on your quiz will be step one, step two. Um, if you're doing traditional in-person learning, you will be asked to construct these things. So regardless of what your modem or medium is for learning, we have to know how to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. All right. So the notes are included, include the steps for each. So let's take a look at the first construction. Use a compass and straight edge to construct a line through point P that is parallel to line M. All right. So you can see the steps here. We're going to use the fact that corresponding angles converse. So if they are far, we have corresponding angles congruent, the lines are parallel. So watch out, watch how cool this is. Let me get my math tools here. All right. So the first thing we want to do is any spot on line M. Because what we want to do eventually is we want to have a line parallel to M that's passing through P. All right. So to do that, we want to, and it might take me a little bit of time with this for the, uh, for the ruler here, my friends. So bear with me. So you want to use your straight edge to construct a line that is essentially going to be your transversal. All right. And of course, you could extend it down below doesn't have to stop at M. You could keep it going down below. All right. Okay, so once you have that, your transversal is first, so pass that through P. Now, that was step one. Draw a point in line, blah, blah, blah. So now, step two. Draw an arc with the center. So let's go ahead and do that. So from the intersection here, we want to bring our compass in, draw an arc, keep the compass setting the same, come up to P, draw the same arc. All right, now thinking back to how we found congruent angles, now you're going to take your compass setting, so following along here. <clears throat> um, now we're at step three, draw an arc with radius A, B using the same compass setting, draw an arc C, and then let's go ahead now, back to our picture. And just like we did when we found the congruent angles, we want to measure this, the width of the angle here. So you're going to have to change your compass setting. Like for me, oh, I'll do that. I want to widen it. So that it is exact width of the opening that I'm dealing with. All right, so sorry about that, guys. And I'm going to make an arc come up here now. So again, I was here. So then move it up to the intersection of your first arc and your transversal. And you want to make a line. You want to make an arc there. And so now the intersection of the two arcs, you're going to use your straight edge. And you want to draw 
the arc that exists All right, so between the two arcs, and then you want to draw a line. This is obviously way easier to do in person, in class. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you got the idea from the video. All right, so again, walking through the steps, you can rewind the video as many times as you need to. But your main objective is to find this intersection of these two arcs. Because now you learn that congruent angles are going to yield parallel lines if they're corresponding. So you have this angle being congruent to this angle. So therefore, your lines are parallel. All right. So now, moving along. Next, we have the construction of a perpendicular line. So we want to go with a line perpendicular to a given line through a given point. So this one, not as challenging. So what we want to do now is go to the point that is not on the line. <clears throat> we have a perpendicular postulate, so there's exactly one line that will be perpendicular to the given line through this point. So we want to find that. So the first thing we want to do, put your compass setting on the point and draw an arc so that you, I'm a little too big on this one, so that you intersect the line below in two locations. So there is one hit of the line and there's the second hit. All right. Now, that was, there's your first step. Draw an arc with center of P. Now, your second step is, from the intersection, you want to draw a point that meets below. So, draw an arc with center A using the same radius. So, back to our picture. So, now I go to this. And I'm going to draw an arc so that it passes over the middle. Keep the compass setting the same. Go to the sec the other intersection point. Where those hit, that's what I need. For the second point to determine the line. So now I'm going to draw, where is that? There we go. I'm going to spin it a little bit. And I'm going to pass through there and through there. So this is a line perpendicular to the given line passing through the given point. And again, this is the intersection that you're talking about. That's the one you want right there. So you match up the original line, original point with the point of intersection there. So again, back the video up if I lost you at any point there. And work through the steps. And the last thing is a perpendicular bisector. Again, three steps on this. So we have a segment here. We want to perpendicularly bisect this segment which of course means we're going to have a line going perpendicular through the center of it. So now to do this one, you put the compass setting on one of the points, open the compass up so that it's more than halfway across to the other point, draw a big old arc so that you come back around the other half, keep the compass setting the same, Take it to the other point. Got to have that compass setting the same. And now you want to draw an arc that hits above and below the lines. So now you can take your ruler straight edge. And...
match up the two intersection points and draw a line that hits both of those. All right, so again, what is that for? That is a perpendicular bisector. So that means that this segment would be the same as this segment. There's your intersection point, it's bisector. It's also perpendicular. All right. All right, friends. So rewind these videos as often as you need to. I'm also gonna refer you in class to website at const title constructions that is on our Schoology page. All right. Peace.